Hi guys, in today's video it's going to be something quite a bit different than I've done in all my other ones. Uh, here is what the amusement park used to look like. Um, you can go back and look at the video uh, two, three months ago if you go back into my channel and you'll see details of the city. But this is a quick overview of how it used to look. Um, it does not look like that anymore, so I decided I just wanted to change some stuff up. There's things I uh, didn't like and some new ideas for some stuff I wanted to try out, so um, I tore all of this down, and in today's video, we'll take a look at how I'm rebuilding it step by step. After a couple days of a lot of tearing down and moving all the amusement park rides away, this is the empty space of the basement that we're going to be working with to start off a new park. I didn't have to really mess with that with the um, uh, the parking lot and part of the train track area coming from the modular city. First step is to put down all my 2x4 boards. I use bricks underneath them to change the levels. Um, you'll see later the ones that I'm basically walking on right now are just put right on the floor as opposed to the other ones are elevated a little bit. Then we put down a train track and give it a few test runs to make sure that the corners aren't too tight, um, the tunnels are big enough for the train to fit through, etc. Um, obviously do this quite a bit before I start putting all the park rides on top of the boards. At that point it's pretty impossible to go back and change anything with the train tracks. Next up might be the step in the remodel park and that is I added a corn maze right there on the lowest level using a whole lot of the green stock pieces that I usually use for grass here you just stack about seven of them and then put three yellow studs on top for the corn and then made a maze out of it as you'll tell through these videos I haven't added any people that's probably gonna be the very last stage I do is add everyone in there so I can get an accurate count of how many people then I decided that the track wasn't big enough and I wanted to extend it out a little bit. So there on the bottom left, uh, added some other boards, put a, uh, a brown mountain tunnel entry there to go around the pipe and back through the park. And again, I uh, did some test drives to make sure that everything... And this is just adding a 2x2 two two board on top of the bricks. That will be where the tunnel is and I'll probably put a ferris wheel or something on top of it. Next step, just throw down some green base plates to enlarge everything. You'll see as this video goes along kind of the next steps after that to make it actually look like the original did. Here's another shot of that tunnel where the train will go in and around back to the other side. The biggest uh, work on this step was just uh, adding those mountains over there. You see that there's two entries for the tunnel. The plan is for them to be ways to get up to that other level, so one will be an entrance and one will be an exit. Put on a couple more green base plates, took that, uh, that mountain that we just looked at on the far side with the two tunnels next to each other, and it, uh, I extended it through both of those corners and then added this little lake using the bluish gray slope pieces. And over here is where I was talking about extending that mountain going all the way to the side. So now you can see it kind of coming together and looking sort of like the last one did. The next step is kind of the most important, in my opinion, to make it look like a good park. And that is adding all these reddish brown plates for the uh, kind of the dirt path that people walk on around the park. So I added steps that takes you from the top level all the way down to where the corn maze is. And then a walking path that goes into the entrance, obviously loops around to the other side. And then ones that go over to those two tunnels to the right side, which like I said will be kind of an underground tunnel that takes you up to that upper level on the opposite side of the park. 
During this step, I ran out of reddish brown slope pieces. So brick link, here I come. And then uh, I'll start working on the, um, the roller coasters and some of the rides next while I'm waiting for that order probably. Um, I added some ducks in the ponds, some benches and picnic tables around the park, some support beams on the stairway. Uh, there's a couple of the carnival rides from the mixer set. And then I extended the, uh, the lake around the park on the back side since I had some extra blue plates to use. So that's it for that. Um, I'll end this video with kind of like a toe where it's just still picture each one of the steps so you can kind of see how, uh, how it came along. All right, not a whole lot to say during this montage. I wish I could have just set up my camera in a steady location and then taken more pictures or a 10 hour video and then just time lapsed it and sped it up. But I use my cell phone for all my pictures and videos for all my videos, so couldn't really do that in this situation. And as the video comes to a close, um, I'd just like to thank everyone for supporting me, liking and commenting and subscribing to my channel. Feel free to go back through my uh, my older videos to see what the rest of the city looks like. You can see that, you know, uh, I got two different train tracks going around the entire thing, a modular section. I just put up a new backdrop in the, uh, in the other part of the city. So, hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.